Cedar Key traffic, Skyhawk 80991 is going to back taxi runway 23, Cedar Key. Look good? Everything looks good. Cedar Key, Skyhawk 80991 departing 23, Cedar Key. Your name popped up. We're just checking to see if we can do it. You all were in the background and it popped up except airdrop? Literal airdrop. I was trying to keep it as tight as I could. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I'm Josh, a pilot and flight instructor who loves the sky, sharing it with those around me and using it to see the world from a new perspective. Flying can seem super complex, but I make it my mission to promote safe practices while enjoying the beauty this world has to offer. Subscribe to Climb Into the Cockpit on future adventures. This is Aviation 101. New Orleans, square and square to the Foley Airport via as filed on departure, maintain 2,000 feet. All right, we're going after day three in a row of flying, and uh, we're getting 80991 ready here at Apopka Airport, and Cameron has pulled out his Skyhawk right around the corner there. So Chris is gonna fly with him again. Chelsea is gonna be in the left seat of the Skyhawk here. We're gonna fly formation down to Arcadia, Florida. Got some fun things planned, right? We're gonna go on an airboat later today, apparently. I've never done that before. Hopefully we'll see some gators. That's kind of what you've been waiting on. And then we're after that, we're gonna go to a Tampa Rays <laughs> game. Chris is ready to go. We're gonna go to a Tampa Rays game and see the Texas Rangers play the Tampa Rays. I'm not sure who I'm gonna be rooting for yet. That's a tough one. I'm not big into Major League Baseball. College baseball is kind of where it's at for me, but. What's wrong with Major League Baseball? Orlando Apopka, automated advisory. Wind two, three, zero, at six knots. Temperature two, seven Celsius. Two point one, niner Celsius. Altimeter two, niner, niner, six. Density altitude, one thousand five hundred over. All right, we're all strapped in. The flaps are all the way up. Heat vent defrost is off. We got the vents open. ADSB is on. Radios are tested. Taxi light is already on. Brakes test and the gyros look good. And he is taking the left side of the runway, so his prop wash will blow off the side of the runway away yeah, from us. Yeah, good. Three, two, one. Pop the traffic in one hotel, go off turn angle right, cross land one five. Pop cut. Our camp looks good. Air speed's alive. There's 50. Pop the traffic one hotel, go off turn angle right, downwind one five. Pop cut. Traffic, Skyhawk 65746, six, fly to 2, 700 feet on the uh, upwind and headed out to the west to Ponga. Let me know if you need anything from me, Josh. All right, sounds good. We're at your 4 o'clock on your wing. Wow! There's sun in front of our 1 o'clock. You guys want to go? No. We should go sometime. Yes. Oh, there goes a little cub or something. Yeah. Where's Sun o'clock? It's at our one o'clock-ish. If you can manage that little lower, like five feet lower, that looks really cool with the lakes behind you. I good? Right there. God, you look so good from this far. <laughs> look where you're going. I have auto flying, okay? I'm trying to watch the air show. Are you missing it, Chelsea? <laughs> You are my air show today. Hi. <laughs> so a while back, a video circulated on social media of two airliners airdropping a photo from one iPhone to another because they were, quote, flying close to each other. If you're not an Apple device user like Macs, iPhone, iPad, any of that stuff, an airdrop is basically Apple's way of sending photos, videos, files, contacts, you can send a song, or just really any data from one Apple device to another using a combination of Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. This viral video was fake for a couple of obvious reasons. One, consider the size of these jets. That alone should give you some visual scale, but they're also separated by 1,000 feet of altitude at the very least. Airdrop requires devices to be within Bluetooth range, which is about 30 feet. The other dead giveaway is the name of the person's iPhone he's supposedly airdropping 
dropping a photo to. It pops up as Sing 777 for a Singapore 777. Obviously staged, somebody in the flight crew probably just renamed their iPhone Sing 777 in order to film this video and make it go viral. But that viral video made us wonder if we could manage a real airdrop across planes. Both iPhones will need a relatively clear view from one device to the other, and they will need to be within 30 feet of each other. On the ground, we gave ourselves a thorough briefing as to what we're going to do, what our backup plans are, what our bailout plans are, and all of that stuff, which is a total must if you're going to fly anything in formation. These Skyhawks have a wingspan of 36 feet. We need to get the iPhones within 30 feet of each other. That's going to require some fairly tight formation compared to what we're used to in these Skyhawks. So we're going to need to find some smooth air, hold it as steady as we can, and as close as we can. Let's try to do an airdrop. You got your phone open, Chelsea? I got it open. Were you able to send something? Your name popped up, but he's checking to see if he can do it. Chris is determined, but I have no faith. Tell Chelsea to move her hand from the back of the phone. <laughs> we got it. You get it? Yeah. It worked? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I got it on video too, and it, you all were in the background, and it popped up, except airdrop. <laughs> that is awesome. Literal airdrop. But as tight as I could. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> People don't realize how much concentration this takes. I don't know why that was so awesome. I do. It's like a proximity based transfer, and we just did it between two planes that are, oh, by the way, airborne. Hashtag sponsored. Yeah, where's Apple? Tag them. Come on, Apple. You want to do a straight in 2 4 and overhead brake? Because of traffic. Yeah, that's what I think. So we'll do a left turn here and just a few. Final for four. Alright, fuel is on both. You've got the mixture. Primer is in and lock. Okeechobee traffic, Skyline 91937, turning crosswind for runway 14. On the Three, two, one. Oh, that guy's leaving. Oh, I should have gone that on camera. I positioned him right uh, in the shot there. Okay. Arcadia traffic, Skyhawk 65746. We're at flight at 2. 172, so we just did an overhead break off 24, and now we're setting up for landing runway 24. <laughs> My hands are clammy. Yeah. Alright, got him in sight. Yep. Arcadia 65746, left base, runway 24. I don't see anyone else except for 86 Whiskey departing. Arcadia 746, final 24. Final. 63 South Charging was on 45 degree to the left downwind for runway 14. Keeping that energy up. Arcadia 746, rolling to the end. All right, wind looks like it's straight down the runway. We got flaps 20 set, pre-landing checklist is complete. Gears down. Runway made, power to idle. Give it some good trim. Hold it in the flare and ground effect. Let her tell I'm me. in this uh, gray and stuff. white arrow. Just, uh, there's a line of tie downs right here if you want to pull it next thing. Sweet. Woo! Hey, you, Billy. Most of the time. <laughs> what do you say? He said, are you Billy? He said, most of the time. And it flaps up, we're lean, carpets off strobes. Chris, where are we going? Great head. We're there by the gray arrow. Okay. What the hell is that thing? Pretty rough looking light sport. Alright, lights. Alright, we made it to Arcadia, Florida. 809901 and 65746 in formation. Yet again, Chris managed to airdrop us some <laughs> photos between our iPhones because we were in such tight formation. That's so awesome. That is so awesome. We literally airdropped some content back and forth. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. That's, that's pretty, pretty such funny. Nerds. Hashtag we're sponsored nerds. Apple. Yes. Tim Cook, call me. Nice tight formation at 6,500 feet. We started the descent down into here, got pretty bumpy. It's, there's a little bit of a breeze, maybe like 10 knots down here. So we just did the overhead brake, both entered the left traffic pattern and came in for a full stop landing. How many people does it take to put a gust lock in? Anyways, all four of us, uh, including our friend Billy and Zach, Zach's gonna take us out on his airboat. So he uses airplane engines just a little bit differently than we do. And then later on, we're going to a major league baseball game.
Texas Rangers playing the Tampa Rays at Rays Stadium, so it's gonna be super awesome. Got some awesome, awesome, awesome formation up at altitude, and now we're gonna go on some adventures on the ground and on the water. 13 and a half foot, weighs about 1,200 pounds. His name's Dale. Big boy. <laughs> Uh, these are just here for people to take photos with and hold, and then as they kind of mature out, they're, they're kind of working their way outside. Two years old? Uh, yeah, he's about two. We thought, you know, like getting them off the egg, they would be kind of docile as they mature. No, they turn, they, they get four foot, they get mean in a hurry. Really? Yeah, very That's aggressive. That's what happened to me. Just do this long enough while he's cool and relaxed. Is it a boy or a girl? Oh, yeah. um, I don't know because the problem is we really got to violate him to find out. And I just don't. You're too nice. Yeah, I'm too nice. <laughs> yeah, oh my lord, watch me sway. Darkness falls and we all pray. Hoping for the light of day. Down to the river. I have held the devil's hand. Felt the weight of my own sin. the airboat back to shore and our guide Zach took us back to the Peace River Airboat headquarters where we then boarded a different kind of vehicle. This swamp buggy is a massively modified four-wheel drive truck powered by a V8 motor mated to an automatic transmission. Its purpose is exactly what it sounds like. This thing trudges through the swamps no problem. drove around this massive property and really immersed ourselves in the swamp. And Zach was a fantastic tour guide throughout the whole process. If you're down in the Arcadia area of Florida, you need to schedule a tour here. You can follow this place on Instagram at Peace River Boat Tours. Go give them a follow, really cool place and an awesome way to experience Florida. We parked the swamp buggy and made our way back to the Arcadia airport to head on to the next stop of the day. But first, we'll file IFR to get there. Arcadia to St. Petersburg, Florida. November 8, 0991, radar contact 5 miles to the west of Arcadia, say your altitude, Tampa altimeter is 2995. Position checks, 2995, crossing 4000, leveling off now, 80991. And November 9991, you're cleared Albert Rubik via direct bridge, journey bridge 8 arrival, maintain 4000. All right, cleared to SPG via direct bridge, bridge 8 arrival, maintain 4000, 80991. Alright, I'm going to do procedure, select arrival, bridge 8, we want the, I'm going to take this from you real quick, Okay. sorry. That's okay. ASPG, procedure, arrival, bridge 8. Take that, and then direct enter, enter, that's your new course. So when we get to bridge... 1965-8091. Tampa approach, Skyhawk 80991, 4000, direct bridge for the bridge 8. November 80991, Tampa approach, altimeter 2905, line for the visual to 25. 9905, visual 25, we'll expect it, 991. I think I see the airport. Like, of all the city buildings, I think it's just on this side, kind of out in the water. 80991 has airport site. 991, clear visual approach runway 25, contact Wooded Tower 127.4. Clear visual 25 and over the tower, have to date 991. 
Put a tower number for 80991, cleared visual, runway 25. That's 80991, Woody Tower, into left base, runway 25, wind 250 at 5, altimeter 2 Left base for 25 and 2991, thank you. Cessna 991, traffic on a one mile final, number 2, runway 25, clear to land. Clear to land, runway 25, 991. Yours was better. Ah, that planning was just fine. We all tied down at Albert Wood at Airport and took an Uber to Rays Stadium to watch the Texas Rangers beat the Tampa Rays in their own stadium. It was a perfect way to relax with some friends and embrace the spirit of spring with some Major League Baseball. But no ballpark beers for us, we still need to fly home to Apopka after the game. 80991, we're VFR up to Orlando Apopka, X-Ray 04, I'd like to do the bridge transition to exit Bravo. 991, clear in Bravo, and uh, looks like you uh, might need a little bit higher than usual today. Uh, if you would like to go to the east, I can work you directly over. Yeah, we can uh, We can do that, 80991. 91, roger, radar contact, climb, maintain, uh, after above 2100, and you can turn uh, right on course. Right on course, out or above, VFR uh, 2100, cleared into the Bravo, 80991. It was a fantastic week cruising around Florida in the Skyhawks, and we capped it off the weekend at the Sun and Fun Expo in Lakeland. Most of this footage was captured during the week of Sun and Fun 2021, but 2022 was just as great. We hung out with new friends, relaxed, and absorbed the aviation world around us. We stayed relatively low key during the week of Sun and Fun this year because 809 has been down in Daytona Beach for a massive project. And that is the series we're rolling into next. Subscribe and turn on notifications if you haven't so you don't miss part one in the next couple of weeks. Until next time, you know the drill. Stay happy, healthy, current, and most importantly, stay proficient. We'll see you in the next series right here once again in Florida. Fly safe.